HPC stands for High Performance Computing. It's a supercomputer that's capable of doing millions of calculations simultaneously, such as um, what's used every day for weather forecasting in designing cars and potentially uh, looking at genetics modelling for personalised medicine. It was always our ambition to build on the uh, EU structural funding investment into HPC to build on our expertise and our experience and the skills that we've developed to be able to lead a programme across Europe with other HPC centres that will deliver competencies to SMEs to enhance their competitiveness in the future. HPC Wales has been extremely successful in collaboration and networking. We've got members of our team who sit on international steering committees and on panels, industrial and academic, uh, around the world. And we've actually attended supercomputing and the international supercomputing shows so that we could raise our profile and develop a network and partners. And our marketing department has enhanced our profile enormously by producing good case studies. EU funding has enabled us to deliver new jobs, create new products and processes, to work with businesses to support their innovation and to actually enhance the skills of the workforce. But not just that, there are intangible benefits such as relationships and reputation that will enhance the long-term sustainability and the benefits to Wales. Without EU funds, we wouldn't be leading this Horizon 2020 bid, we wouldn't be part of a bid and there wouldn't be any HPC Wales. Our experience with EU funding has been challenging but very rewarding. It has paid off. We hope that our experience and success encourages and inspires others to take up the opportunities that are on offer through EU funds. My name is Dr Ian Masters from Swansea University and I lead the Low Carbon Research Institute Marine Consortium, which is an across Wales project involving all of the Welsh universities and our goal is to look at how we extract energy from the seas, from waves and from tides. Uh, working as a, a collaboration is an important part of what we do. When you're thinking about working in Europe, that takes a much longer time to put those collaborations together. And it starts really by going to conferences and meetings and talking about what we do. From that you can build a project team with people from across Europe, which leads you then into a successful, hopefully successful bid, and then future project collaboration. My role um, as a collaborative projects officer is uh, to represent our group uh, in consortia. We have recently been supported by the SCORE Cymru scheme with uh, two travel grants which were very beneficial for us uh, in order to meet more prospective partners in Europe and to expand our uh, international network. Aribi is a European project which sets out to understand the challenges that Europe is faced in order to uh, be able to contribute in uh, the blue economy. The project will explore different business models which are tailored to meet the needs of each of four different uh, maritime basins. This is a very exciting time for us because we are able to promote uh, Wales during uh, the, uh, this project to our partners. And uh, what we will try to do is to try to uh, promote the area of Pembrokeshire as uh, an area to be considered to uh, locate one of these uh, large-scale pilot initiative projects. One of the key things that EU funds has allowed us to do is to build critical mass and to build credibility, um, which has allowed us to compete with other research groups across Europe on equal terms, uh, both in terms of the research and development that we're doing, but also our ability to compete for uh, future EU funds under Horizon 2020. And we're going to see a lot more of this industry and a lot more of this energy in the future, which is going to be a great benefit for Wales. My name is Martin McHugh. I work for Micro Semi Corporation. We're based in South Wales. We employ about 100 people on this site, primarily in the manufacture of small subsystems for implantable devices like pacemakers, uh, implantable cardio defibrillators, the small camera pills that you see, and other small medical devices. We have been involved in about six FP6 six and 7 projects, all to do with medical devices, miniaturization, and achieving that sort of whole portability. OK, this is a radio module that we developed under our first FP programme called Healthy Aims. This is the miniaturised version 
and both products are actually used in medical devices such as pacemakers and implantable cardio defibrillators. Framework 7 programmes have had a number of impacts on our business. It's allowed us to transition from what was predominantly was an analogue wired business in terms of telecommunications into a medical devices business. It's also allowing us now to actually explore where we want to be in 2020, which is probably going to be in the area of harsh environment and high temperature electronics. If we have an idea and we put it forward to a Framework 7 project application and it gets funded, we know that um, the EU have actually subjected that application to a peer review of industry experts and that we're probably heading in the right direction. There have been two benefits mainly for us. The first one is in the access to the research institutes in Europe and all of the skills and knowledge they have and the building of our own skill sets and processes here. The second benefit has been in terms of the gearing of the R&D spend. Uh, a project that we have, it's four million euros total cost. Um, our contribution to that is about 300,000 euros of which we'll get a grant of about 150,000 euros. So basically for 150,000 euros of cost to MicroSemi, uh, we're getting access to four million euros of research. Hi, I'm Andrew Howell. I'm Managing Director of BCB International. We are a, an SME, a family company based in Cardiff. We design and develop innovative solutions, primarily for the security, for the defence and the maritime industry. We found out about Horizon 2020 from a number of seminars we went to. Um, there's substantial funding available from Brussels for innovations. So we went to the Welsh Government and they were able to assist us through the school programme in giving us funding which we could then undertake an outside consultant to write a business plan with us for uh, this Horizon 2020 funding. Under that we have identified two partners that we're working with or going to work with, one based in Hungary and the other in Portugal. Both partners are SMEs and with both partners we're looking to work on the success that we've already developed um, our nano UAV on. So we will take this as our platform and expand it um, to other areas. At the moment our UAV has got sense and avoid, which means that it won't crash. It's also got autonomous flight software, which means that it's very easy and quick to fly. And based on this existing uh, technology that we have, we're now looking under Horizon 2020 to expand into other roles and areas uh, of using the UAVs. This funding is very important to us in the future because it will take our company, which is at the moment a relatively low-tech company, into a completely different market, which will be upmarket, high-tech company. Um, and that's really what 2020 funding will do for small companies and large companies. Without the EU funding, we wouldn't have proceeded with projects which I think are probably too risky without the funding. And also we wouldn't have uh, proceeded with multi projects uh, at the same time. My advice to other companies is just go for it. <laughs>